Hi everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. Natalie, Cookie and I are <laughs> spending our money in the park, um, as usual. And right now we're going to TT Bistro, but not as TT, but as double T. <laughs> and we tried to have breakfast there on the weekend. It was fully booked, like insanely fully booked. And so that's why we're going at 9 a.m. on Monday. <laughs> also because, you know, there's like, you know, there's a saying or something like that. Like the start of the day is important. It sets the tone for the entire day, yeah, the morning. And uh, we're just thinking that maybe it's the same for the week. So instead of spending our Monday morning just working away, slaving away, well, we did work actually a bit earlier, but we decided to go to a nice coffee shop, to a nice coffee place and just enjoy ourselves for a bit. Do you have a lot to do this week? Yes, unfortunately, yes. Especially today. Especially today? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> actually, me too, but I kind of... I think we'll be fine. We'll deal with it. Like, eh. So yeah, I'm gonna show you our breakfast and this bistro place, which is apparently very popular. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Okay, let's open today's advent calendars and hope that they're not going to be as shitty as yesterday ones. Let's start with Kiehl's because this one seems to um, disappoint me the most, I think. And number five. It's number five, right? That I need. Oh, gosh, I'm blind. Okay, this one's a bit bigger and also heavier, so let's hope for the best. Oh, it's a cleansing oil. Cool. Okay, good. Uh, midnight. So it's definitely for, for the night time then. Okay, so now I have the serum, the cream, and the cleanser, which is 40 millimeters, which is uh, much better, much better than my um, other products from Kills. Yay! Um, number, five. Oh, number five is here. Like, here you can clearly see the numbers. It's kind of easier but then also a bit boring and here the numbers are like you would think they're also pretty obvious but then it's somehow trickier to see where <laughs> where the number that you need is at oh oh no it's a british rose I actually don't really like this uh, scent so and the other um, shower gel that I got was strawberry and I was really looking forward to the shower gels from body shop I'm more into oranges and things like that but um, in any case, that's, you know, always handy to have one at home. Okay. And the last one for today. Aha. Uh -huh. God damn it. Okay, it's candy with a an image of a bear. So we're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. One day we'll get a stupid bear.
Today for dinner I've decided to make a salad that uh, you would usually eat on a New Year's Eve or, you know, a bit before or a bit later, in our family at least. So it's called Olivier and usually you make it with some kind of meat, but mine is going to be without it because they don't eat meat. And um, I don't know, every year I get the sudden urge um, to just make those types of foods that you'd eat uh, around New Year earlier and earlier and I don't know why but also this year I think maybe I'm homesick a little bit so I just want to make it and by the way there's nothing it's called a salad but it's it, it's there's nothing healthy about it I'm just gonna show you the ingredients now so that's all that it's made of so I've boiled uh, potatoes and carrots then the eggs as well uh, peas the pickles it's not exactly the pickles that would uh, you know normally use but whatever um, onion and mayonnaise and um, yeah you would either, either put like something like a sausage or chicken in there as well, but mine is going to be without it. We've made a stop at the bookshop on the way to park uh, to walk a cookie and that made me thinking that I was gonna research <laughs> some Serbian authors to see what like uh, translated works I can read. Um, actually maybe... oh should I try to read in Serbian? No I don't think so. Anyway, so yeah, uh, I was thinking about getting something to read from Serbian authors because obviously I'm in Serbia now and literature is such a huge part of the culture and, and there are a lot of lists out there uh, on the on the internet that I've seen already and a few books that I've fancied and spotted but if any Serbs or any anyone knowledgeable <laughs> is watching my videos please let me know what kind of um, authors do you think I should read first if there are any like absolutely must reads um, or maybe something that is underappreciated but I can still find it in English and that's like really brilliant um, works of both modern and classic authors. I'd be really excited because I like reading and I don't think I've read maybe like also I read a lot and I sometimes don't know where the author is from so I might have read something by Serbian authors but I'm sure that it's nowhere near as much as I uh, should probably because you know in, in general like anywhere you go um, obviously like Russian literature is considered you know something big and, and, and cool and important and it is but um, I think in every like in, in, in USA in every European country in a, every Asian country in every country on every continent in the world there are so many great books that uh, you know sometimes they just have shitty PR or no no PR at all or just because of the politics you know um, there's not as much interest and demand uh, in certain books uh, from certain countries and like so much good stuff never becomes like as popular as it should be as it deserves so yeah whenever I go somewhere I try to find some local books and I try to get recommendations from the locals of what to read and sometimes I find really great gems actually like that so so yeah anyway that was a long chat uh, if you know any great Serbian uh, literature please let me know in the comments uh, ideally something that um, is like not big enough but I guess that is acknowledged enough to be translated into other languages uh, ideally English but <laughs> German would do as well and yeah I think I'll end this vlog here thank you so much for watching I hope you have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow bye